we're about to go on an amazing tour across one of the most fascinating countries in Europe. The Netherlands is a country with a thriving cultural scene, an extensive past and cutting edge inventions. There is so much to discover, from its recognisable windmills and gorgeous canals, to its energetic cities and quaint villages. Many individuals wish to fully explore the stunning city of the Netherlands, but they are unable to do so because they do not know enough about it. The purpose of this video, Wonders of the Netherlands, is to provide a comprehensive experience of the country. But first, please subscribe to my channel. I'll start by giving you some fascinating fun facts about the Netherlands. After that, I'll take you on a tour of the Netherlands' greatest attractions to make sure you don't miss anything amazing. Now let's start. Interesting fun facts. Were you aware that the Netherlands ranks second globally in terms of food and agricultural exports? With its cutting-edge agricultural methods, this little country is a global leader in farming and sustainability, despite its modest size. The Netherlands is home to more than 1,000 historic windmills, many of which are still in operation today. These 17th century windmills are evidence of the Dutch inventiveness in using wind energy. There are more bicycles than people in the Netherlands. Bicycling is more than just a way to get around. For the 17 million people who live in the country, there are approximately 22 million bicycles. The country is widely known for its vast and immaculate network of bicycle lanes. The world's tallest people are Dutch. Dutch women are around 5 feet 7 inches tall and Dutch males are approximately 6 feet tall. It's a country that genuinely stands tall. In 1602, the Dutch East India Company founded the world's oldest stock market in Amsterdam. This forward-thinking financial firm, which is still in business today, laid the groundwork for contemporary global trading. The Netherlands brought tulips, a national symbol from Turkey in the 16th century. Currently, the nation cultivates over 4 billion tulip bulbs annually with millions of these bulbs serving as decorations for the world-famous Kuchenhof Gardens in the spring. The Netherlands is well known for its elaborate canal networks, especially in Amsterdam, which is home to more than 60 miles of waterways. In addition to being beautiful, these streams are vital to the nation's water management, The Netherlands leads the world in sustainable energy, producing more than half of its electricity from biomass, solar and wind energy. By 2050, the Netherlands is committed to achieving carbon neutrality. With these intriguing facts to spark your interest, let us start with our selection of the best locations in the Netherlands you really must visit. Amsterdam. Let's explore Amsterdam, the dynamic capital city, which is our first wonder. Greetings from the lovely city of Amsterdam. We're going to take you on a tour of one of Europe's most fascinating city today, where modernity, culture and history all coexist peacefully. With its recognisable canals, historical sites, energetic neighbourhoods and top-notch museums, Amsterdam offers something for everyone. Let's start by discussing Amsterdam's amazing canal system, because these canals are longer than those in Venice. Having been constructed during the Dutch Golden Age in the 17th century, Amsterdam has been dubbed the Venice of the North. 
They are the UNESCO World Heritage Site and offer a breathtaking backdrop to the city's quaint homes and lovely streets. A canal boat is a must-do activity that provides an unforgettable view of the grandeur of the city. Let's now examine a few of Amsterdam's internationally recognised cultural establishments. Masterpieces by Rembrandt, Vermeer and other Dutch painters can be found at the Rijksmuseum, a veritable gold mine of Dutch art. The Van Gogh Museum, which houses the greatest collection of paintings by Vincent van Gogh and provides a close-up view of the life and psyche of this renowned artist, is only a short stroll away. A more moving experience can be had by going to the Anne Frank House. This museum serves as a poignant reminder of the human spirit's resiliency by providing a compelling look into the life of Anne Frank and her family during World War II. The neighbourhoods of Amsterdam are lively and diverse. The Jordaan neighbourhood has a bohemian vibe because to its small streets, independent art galleries and quaint cafes. The hubs of nightlife, however, are the bustling Leidse Plein and Rembrandt Plein squares, which are teeming with theatres, clubs and dining establishments. The vibrant centre of Amsterdam is Dam Square, which is situated in the centre of the city. The square, named for the Amstel River Dam built in the 13th century, is surrounded by well-known sites. At its heart is the majestic Royal Palace, an architectural wonder of the 17th century. The square's historical significance is increased by the National Monument, which honours Dutch troops who lost their lives in World War II, and the Nieuwe Kirk, a Gothic church from the 15th century. Dam Square is a bustling location for events, festivals and street performers in addition to being a historical and cultural hub. It's the ideal location to take in Amsterdam's vibrant atmosphere. Amsterdam guarantees an amazing experience, whether you choose to explore its rich history, indulge in its vibrant culture, or just take in the distinct ambience. So prepare to explore this amazing city's treasures by packing your baggage. Rotterdam our next destination is Rotterdam, a city with a stunning metropolitan setting where innovation and culture coexist harmoniously. Recognised for its avant-garde architectural design and thriving artistic community, Rotterdam is an ever-evolving metropolis. You can find impressive buildings, old docks and top-notch museums like the Kunsthal, and the Boymans van Beuningen here. The city's innovative design projects and sustainable initiatives demonstrate its forward-thinking nature. Explore the rich maritime heritage, dine in stylish restaurants and meander through the lively markets. Travellers looking for both modern marvels and cultural treasures will find Rotterdam to be a really inspiring visit because every area of the city tells a tale of resiliency and inventiveness. Our voyage unfolds against the famous skyline of Rotterdam, dominated by architectural wonders like the Erasmus Bridge and the Cube Houses. Piet Blom developed the Cube Houses, Kubus Vonningen, in Rotterdam during the late 1970s. Piet Blom created a bizarre and visually appealing appearance by tilting these unusual dwellings at a 45 degree inclination. Blom's idea was to create a hamlet within a city, with each house standing in for an abstract tree, creating the illusion of a forest. 
there are pedestrian bridges connecting the two larger cubes and the 38 smaller cubes that make up the complex, with a living area on the first floor, sleeping quarters on the second, and an office or garden on the top, each three-storey cube house maximises the utilisation of available space. The Kik Kubus Museum, one of the houses, is accessible to the general public, giving guests a chance to see the unusual living arrangement up close. A prominent feature of Rotterdam's skyline, the cube houses stand for the city's dedication to innovative urban planning and forward-thinking architecture. Walking along Rotterdam's lively waterfront completes any trip there. Often referred to as the Swan due to its elegant asymmetrical pylon, the Erasmus Bridge is a well-known site in Rotterdam. Completed in 1996, this 802 metre long cable stayed bridge spans the Nieuwe Maas River and connects the cities north and south. Ben van Berkel designed the bridge with 40 cables and a central pylon that rises to a height of 139 metres, creating a dramatic silhouette. It is an essential part of Rotterdam's infrastructure, accommodating automobiles, trams, bikes and pedestrians. Apart from its engineering marvel status, the bridge serves as a cultural symbol, often illuminated for special occasions and serving as the backdrop for events such as city marathons, festivals and fireworks. The biggest port in Europe, which is a hive of commerce and industry, is located in Rotterdam. In addition to being vital to the Dutch economy, the port of Rotterdam provides tourists with a window into the city's nautical past. A harbour tour offers an intriguing look into the activities of the port and the ships that call its waters. The food culture in Rotterdam is just as dynamic, including a diverse range of international delicacies. There is something to please every palate, from lively food markets to restaurants with Michelin stars. With its vibrant nightlife and cultural events, Rotterdam comes to life when the day gives way to night. The city celebrates everything from jazz music to modern dance all year long with festivals, concerts and performances. Rotterdam offers a unique experience. Whether you're admiring its contemporary architecture, learning about its maritime past, or soaking up its lively culture. Groningen. We travelled to Groningen from Rotterdam, a city where lively vitality combines with old world beauty. Groningen's history dates back more than a millennium. Established in the 10th century, it expanded rapidly to become a prominent centre of trade. It had grown to be a significant player in the Hanseatic League, an association of trade cities and their guilds by the 14th century. Tucked away in the northern part of the Netherlands, Groningen is a vibrant university city full of innovation, culture and history. Groningen, home to one of the country's oldest universities, is a vibrant city that values academic quality and youth. Its lively cultural scene, busy markets and charming canals all contribute to the welcoming and motivating atmosphere. By discovering historical sites or taking advantage of Groningen's vibrant nightlife, the city offers visitors an exceptional experience that honours the past while welcoming the future. The city core of Groningen is a dynamic fusion of contemporary vitality and old world charm. At 97 metres high, the famous Martini Tower looms over the bustling Grootmarkt, the city's main square, providing sweeping views of the surroundings. 
the neighbourhood is a vibrant blend of hip boutiques, quaint cafes and active marketplaces. The heart of the city, which is home to the University of Groningen, is alive with intellectual and youthful vitality. Highlights of the culture include the remarkably contemporary Groningen Museum, which is well known for its varied art holdings. Picturesque canals and old houses line the pedestrian-friendly lanes, creating a pleasant ambience for leisurely strolls. The city centre of Groningen is a must-see location because it is a vibrant, captivating area where the past and current mix harmoniously. Groningen's attractive canals and antique structures offer an enthralling view into its illustrious past. Enjoy a relaxing boat ride while admiring the exquisitely preserved buildings. Every bend of the canal unveils a new narrative of Groningen's history, from beautiful merchant homes decorated with exquisite details to ancient warehouses that resound with tales of booming trade. The calm rivers provide a distinctive viewpoint that lets you admire the classic elegance and magnificent architecture that characterise this energetic city. The centuries-old buildings and trancing reflections in the calm river make your trip through Groningen even more magical as you float by. Groningen is a cultural hotspot with an abundance of theatres, galleries and museums. Castle Tewed, located in Groningen, is a historical treasure with a rich history dating back to the 14th century. Initially built as a defensive bastion, the castle played a crucial role in local wars and power struggles. It has performed a variety of roles over the ages, including those of a courthouse and an aristocratic dwelling. The massive walls, moat and towers of the castle have all been astonishingly well preserved, providing an insight into medieval life. Today, Castle to Wed is a well-liked tourist destination and event space that holds guided tours, weddings and cultural events. History buffs and tourists alike find it to be an enthralling location because of its gorgeous surroundings and historical relevance. The village offers a colourful window into the past with a variety of events held all year, such as historical combat reenactments and bustling marketplaces. Don't miss Bortange, a fascinating Groningen fortress village that carries tourists back to the 16th century. During the Dutch Revolt in 1593, builders constructed Bortange as a star-shaped fort to safeguard the sole route between Germany and Groningen. It is now a painstakingly maintained outdoor museum that displays its distinctive star-shaped design, complete with ramparts, moats and drawbridges. Bortange's lovely museums, old buildings and cobblestone lanes reveal its significant military past. Because of its historical significance and gorgeous surroundings, Bortange is a must-visit location for anybody interested in history, or those looking for a cosy, immersive experience in the centre of Groningen. Groningen is a city of green spaces, despite its vibrant urban environment. Tucked away in Groningen's Terugwold Nature Reserve, Tetjohorn is a secret haven for avian and natural history buffs. Lush reed beds, flowing streams and peaceful marshes distinguish this beautiful environment. At Rogwald, which translates to the rough forest, provides sanctuary for a variety of fauna, including uncommon bird species like the marsh harrier and the bittern. Visitors can discover Tetjahorn's scenic charm through its well-kept walking and cycling lanes, which offer magnificent views of the tranquil terrain. Located in Groningen's northern region, Eemshaven is a bustling industrial and port district that is expanding quickly. 
Since its establishment in the 1970s, it has developed into an important center for data centers, logistics, and energy generation. The port is an essential entry point for global trade and offshore wind energy projects due to its advantageous location on the North Sea. Eamshaven is home to large-scale wind farms and power plants, as well as one of the world's most advanced data centres operated by Google. The region is renowned for its cutting-edge renewable energy projects and sustainability practices. With its state-of-the-art facilities and remarkable infrastructure, Eamshaven contributes significantly to the technological and economic development of the Groningen region. Groningen's lively nightlife comes alive when the sun sets. With a wide selection of pubs, clubs and bars, the city has something to offer everyone. Savour regional specialties at quaint eateries or mingle with the locals in one of the many bars. Groningen is a city that brings together culture, innovation and history. Groningen delivers an amazing experience. Whether you're visiting its ancient monuments, taking in the city's exciting nightlife, or unwinding in its green areas, come here to experience Groningen's enchantment. The Hague. We continue from Maastricht to The Hague, the bustling centre of Dutch politics and royal life, where cutting edge modern design coexists with centuries old buildings. The royal family, the Dutch government and important international organisations like the International Court of Justice are all based in this vibrant metropolis. Explore the medieval Binnenhof, a prominent location in Dutch politics, and take in the breathtaking Nordende Palace, which serves as King Willem Alexander's official residence. Among these old sites, you can find contemporary structures, avant-garde architecture and cultural treasures like the Moritz Schuess. The Hague creates a distinctive and alluring environment by skillfully fusing heritage and modernity. Our journey begins at the historic Binnenhof in The Hague, one of the oldest parliamentary buildings still in use today, dating back to the 13th century. The Binnenhof houses important political institutions in the Netherlands, including the Hall of Knights, Ridderzol, where the monarch delivers the yearly speech from the throne. It is a remarkable landmark because of its charming Hofiver pond and Gothic architecture. The Binnenhof, the epicenter of Dutch politics, skillfully combines opulence from the past with contemporary rule. The Peace Palace in The Hague symbolises international justice and peace. It houses the Permanent Court of Arbitration, the Hague Academy of International Law and the International Court of Justice. It was opened in 1913. The American steel tycoon Andrew Carnegie provided the majority of the $1.5 million in construction funding for the palace. French architect Louis M. Cordonnier designed the magnificent Neo-Renaissance building. With more than a million books, the Peace Palace Library is one of the largest international law libraries in the world. Presents from various countries, including an American stained glass window, a Japanese clock and a Russian vase, adorn the interior of the building, symbolising international collaboration and harmony. The Peace Palace is still a crucial location for settling conflicts between nations and advancing world peace. The Hague's city canals, which swirl elegantly through the city centre, have a timeless, dreamlike beauty that exudes a sense of vivid energy. The calm waves reflect the centuries-old structures along the shore producing a mirror-like appearance that makes it difficult to distinguish between truth and fantasy. 
As you glide down these tranquil canals, the sound of the whispering breeze and the soft splashing of water against the boat create a peaceful, wonder-filled atmosphere. The Hague's Scheveningen Beach is a popular beach resort in the Netherlands that is well known for its expansive sandy beaches and bustling promenade. The 4.5 kilometer beach draws millions of tourists each year because it provides the ideal balance of excitement and leisure. The famous Scheveningen Pier is a hub of activity with its Ferris wheel, bungee jumping platform and variety of dining options. Let us not overlook this. The Japanese garden at Klingendal Park in The Hague transports guests to a quiet Japanese environment with its ethereal and meditative aura. Baroness Marguerite van Brienen designed this charming six 800 square meter garden in the early 20th century, making it the first of its kind in the Netherlands. Its well-planned arrangement, featuring brilliant maples, peaceful ponds, stone lanterns and wooden bridges, creates a perfect fusion of art and nature. The garden's surreal appearance is enhanced by its seasonal blooming, which ranges from fiery foliage in the fall to cherry blossoms in the spring. Time seems to stop still in the Japanese garden, which is open to the public for a few weeks out of the year. It is a unique and magical respite. The Hague is a city of surprises and contrasts, from its modern attractions to its historical landmarks. It's a destination that offers something for everyone, blending innovation with heritage. Giton. We depart from The Hague and travel to Giton, a charming Dutch village known as the Venice of the North, where the rush of everyday life disappears and time appears to have stopped. Giton, which lies in the province of Overijssel, is well known for its peaceful canals, verdant surroundings and quaint thatched roof homes. The village's complex system of canals provides transportation because there are no roads to disrupt the tranquility. Boat tours allow visitors to cruise by quaint houses and exquisitely landscaped gardens. Githorn is a magical place that feels like stepping into a tranquil fairy tale world because of the village's distinct charm and timeless beauty, which provide a delightful respite from the everyday. Giethorn's ancient town, a unique community where peaceful waterways replace roadways, boasts over 55 miles of peaceful canals. By boat is the most enjoyable method to discover this lovely location. Set sail with us on a classic punter or an electric boat that is whisper quiet. you'll pass lovely thatched roof homes, stunning wooden bridges, and lush, vibrant gardens as you meander through the serene canals. Cars don't disturb the peace, allowing you to enjoy the beauty and stillness of Giethorn, sometimes referred to as the Venice of the North. As you gently float over the lake, Take in the scenic views of colourful gardens, thatched roof farmhouses and quaint wooden bridges. Many of these little homes are from the 18th century and each view seems more entrancing than the last. More than 180 charming bridges connect these antique homes built on tiny peat islands, creating a setting straight out of a fairy tale. The vibrant, flower-filled gardens enhance the enchanted atmosphere while framing the thatched roof's rustic charm. As you float over the tranquil canals, you can feel the centuries of history that have shaped this special community. 
the village's layout is defined by its complex system of bridges and waterways, which also contributes to its charming, picture-perfect appearance. You get the impression that you have entered another universe with each curve and twist that unveils a stunning new scene. Enjoy the tranquility of this voyage and allow Giethorn Splendor to captivate your senses. It will be a memorable experience. Nestled in the center of the Netherlands, De Vereben Weiden National Park is a stunning span of ecological diversity and natural beauty. It is the largest lowland bog in Northwest Europe, spanning more than 24,000 acres. The extensive system of canals, serene lakes and verdant reed beds distinguish this breathtaking park, combining to form a mosaic of wetlands brimming with life. Nothing beats unwinding at one of Giethorn's quaint eateries after a day of sightseeing, where you can sample regional specialties and take in the tranquil atmosphere. There is something to satisfy every appetite, from fresh seafood to classic Dutch pancakes. Giethorn offers a singular and remarkable experience, perfect for a family outing, a romantic retreat, or a peaceful diversion from the daily grind. Harlem. Our last stop is Harlem, a city where culture blooms around every corner and history permeates every cobblestone. This is our ultimate destination. Harlem was granted city status more than 750 years ago, in 1245. Tucked away along the Spahn River, this medieval village grew via trade and handicrafts to become a centre of innovation and prosperity. Harlem's city centre is an enthralling blend of old world charm and modern energy. Prominent buildings like the Gothic St. Bavo's Church and the 14th century town hall surround this popular plaza, which serves as the centre of the Grootmarkt. Charming cafes, distinctive boutiques and lively markets line its cobblestone lanes, providing a pleasant shopping experience. The Franz Hals Museum and the Tyler's Museum, which both showcase Harlem's rich cultural legacy, are open for visitors to explore. With so many different dining options, ranging from trendy international eateries to traditional Dutch diners, the city centre is a hive of activity both during the day and at night. Visit the Grootmarkt, a busy central square with centuries of history that stands at the heart of Harlem. A stunning example of Gothic architecture and a testament to Harlem's rich past is the Groot Kirk, also known as St. Baverkirk, is a spectacular Gothic structure built in the 16th century. It has a tall 78 metre spire and an outstanding Miller organ with over 5,000 pipes, which Mozart notably played. Inside, the church has a magnificent timber vaulted ceiling with elaborate paintings, old stained glass windows and a number of important paintings and monuments, such as the Dutch painter Franz Hals's tomb. The Grootkirk is an integral element of Harlem's history and community, acting as a thriving cultural hub that hosts events and performances all year long. Now let's visit Duadrian, Harlem's iconic windmill and a vivid reminder of the city's industrial past. Built in 1778, the windmill unfortunately burned down in 1932. In 2002, they painstakingly rebuilt it and reopened it. Diadrian provides expansive views of Harlem's lovely surroundings and is situated on the gorgeous banks of the River Spahn. 
Today, this operational windmill serves as a museum where guests can view displays describing the significance of windmills in the Netherlands and the history of Dutch milling. Interactive exhibits and guided tours within offer an enthralling look at the technical wonders and cultural significance of these recognisable buildings. After that, visit the Netherlands' oldest Tailors Museum. Founded in 1778 in Haarlem, the Tailors Museum offers a voyage through art and science. It presents a singular fusion of natural history, science and art. Take an enthralling boat trip along Haarlem's charming canals to see the city from a new angle. You'll pass picturesque homes with their characteristic Dutch gables, old warehouses that tell stories of the city's thriving trading past, and verdant, lush parks that provide a tranquil setting as you meander through the rivers. Every bend in the canal displays a different aspect of Harlem's magnificent architecture and rich history. The graceful structure's reflections dancing on the water's surface create an enchanting ambience that mesmerises visitors. Known as the Venice of the North, Harlem's complex system of canals provides a special way to take in the beauty and charm of the city away from the busy streets. One remarkable example of the medieval city walls still standing in Harlem is the Amsterdam support the city's final surviving gate. Built in 1355, this massive building was formerly an important gateway to the city. Its recognisable twin towers and sturdy brickwork transport visitors back to Harlem's fortified stronghold era. The architectural characteristics of the gate, such as its pointed arches and crenellations, evoke Gothic elements. The Amsterdam's port is a charming and historically noteworthy landmark that serves as a reminder of Harlem's rich medieval past. Dating back to 1918, the Stad Schauburg, also known as the Harlem Municipal Theatre, is a cultural treasure. Its exquisitely designed interiors and magnificent Art Deco architecture produce a mesmerising ambience. It is a thriving centre for the arts, hosting a wide variety of performances ranging from comedy and theatre to dance and concerts. The theatre is a popular destination that draws people from all around the city because of its historical charm and contemporary shows. The city offers a fascinating array of local and international flavours, from quaint cafes to fine dining establishments. Foodies will like the gastronomic scene in Harlem. Explore the Grootmarkt's Saturday market to find delicious pastries, specialty cheeses and fresh fruit. When the sun sets, Harlem comes alive with a vibrant nightlife. Take in the atmosphere of this quaint city, get a drink at one of the numerous bustling bars or attend a live music event. In Harlem, culture, history and modernism coexist harmoniously. Every street in this magical city has a tale to tell, and every moment is full of wonder and excitement. Come explore Harlem's charms and let them enchant you. Every city in the Netherlands offers a distinct fusion of history, culture and beauty, making it a veritable treasure trove of delights. This country has something for everyone, whether you want to explore peaceful canals, quaint towns or bustling cities. Hope you enjoy the video. We appreciate you coming along as we explore the delights of the Netherlands. Till then, have a safe trip.